far as uh, things going on in your division, Sean, I don't know if you heard, but uh, a proposed fight with Danny Garcia, Andre Berto, seems to have fallen apart. Yeah. Uh, Andre took to Instagram. Didn't have kind words for, for Danny. Okay, I didn't see. Well, what did he say on he, Instagram? He, he had a meme where he was like, you know, when, <laughs> okay. when Danny Garcia picks John Molina instead uh, of you. Okay. So, suppose, so according to Berto, he, Danny's going to fight John Molina. Yeah. Overall thoughts on that? Show. That uh, I think that would have been a good fight for both those guys. Um, Berto coming off that big win against um, Victor Ortiz, so that would have been a good fight for both those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do, do do you are you surprised that that fight didn't get made and, and things go a, a different route? Yeah, because I mean, given the history that uh, that that Garcia has with his opponents and how he picks them, I'm not surprised to see him uh, decide not to fight Andre Berto. Um, so, no, not at all. Now, I kind of already know what the answer is going to be to this, but would you be open to fight Andre Berto if he's still looking for I'd be open to fight Andre Berto. I'd be open to fight um, Garcia as well. Mm. Uh, you had mentioned John Molina to me last time. Are you, surpri Molina. Are you surprised that now that John <laughs> Molina is in the mix for that? Or? No, I think, you know, uh, uh, you figure out what you can do or who you can do it against, and then those are the guys you go after. Uh, I'm someone who is very versatile in the ring, and I can do it do a lot of things you know I have speed and power so I can go up against just about anybody you know but if you want a guy who's going to be able to stand in front of you and take a lot of shots then you, you fight John Molina someone who we know is going to come straight forward with a lot of power but he's going to take a lot of shots coming forward and, and trying to deliver that power so um, but at any rate yeah that's that's definitely a good fight for the for both those guys too. Sean, how, how, do you feel it's difficult for you to get a fight right now at 147? Do you feel these guys are not willing to fight you? I don't know, man, because uh, you're asking someone who's willing to fight, mm -hmm. you know? So with me being willing to fight, me understanding that this is our sport, this is how we make money, this is how we live, I'm saying get in here and do it, you know? But obviously everyone doesn't have the mindset that I have. So I, I, I don't know. I can't tell you what those other guys are thinking or, or how they feel, but I can tell you that, you know, getting in the ring with me is, is, is not an easy thing to do. What does Sean Porter do if, if 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 you can't get in the ring soon enough? Is it just more staying busy like before? Or what do you do to not kind of yeah. find that same trap again? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, I I know my dad will figure it out. So uh, my dad won't let me get through this year without a fight. That's smart and, man. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, you know he knows that I want to fight, but it's also what we have to do. You know, so uh, he'll make it happen.